Here comes AI, and if there's one wish AI has is, give me not two, three, four X more computation. No, give me a hundred X. And no matter how much we push Moore's law, you can't get there. But if you rethink the architecture, if you say, hey, we're going to focus the computational engines towards narrow and narrower problems, single ML algorithm, single AI technique, chips focused entirely on that, now you can make great progress. But if at the same time, we understood that with all the data coming into AI chips, we have needs to have memories and computation very close, pro, uh, close together, be able to deal with massive amount of data. The change in architecture is also an opportunity to change how we deal with one chip going to multiple chips. And this time it is absolutely happening. We are seeing a, a, a push to split certain chips into chiplets and bring those together either by stacking them, sometimes possible memories, sometimes difficult because processing, there's too much heat. And so the new capability is to say, how can we bring them together by actually putting them on top of another chip that serves as a silicon interposer? And this is now happening, and I know this because we have a number of advanced uh, partners and customers that are doing this on very advanced systems. And so in this picture, you have to realize that the traditional Moore's Law path is not being replaced, but amended by a little detour here in form. And form follows function because if the function is being recast in a new architecture, so is the form. And this is not you know, yesterday's packaging. This is very sophisticated, sophisticated 3D IC combinations of stacking them on top of it, abutting them in various ways and using silicon interposers. And fortunately, Synopsys recognized this a few years ago. So we started the development of an entire 3D design system. 3D IC compiler is the uh, incarnation of that. And just to give you a sense of the complexity of what ha one has to solve, all these tasks you see there, we have to be able to do. On the right, you see a picture with two dies sitting on top of a package where the connection is done with a silicon bridge, silicon interposer. And there's a variety of tasks that we have to do from optimization, from designing, from looking at the floor plan, from uh, having a variety of different connection uh, schemes that have to be optimized and, uh, and tuned, uh, to a variety of routing capabilities that have to be extracted and understood from a timing point of view. And of course, power, because as you put things together, Power that is great to do computation is bad when you have to exhaust uh, the, uh, the heat that comes out of it. So thermal management becomes much, much, much more important. And last but not least, the verification, the physical verification is very sophisticated as well because there's so many more interconnect uh, mechanisms.